curtain sound, these type so windows are so important because not only are they going up when you are sleeping, but they go up the minute the sun goes down. You don't want anyone spying on you in the dark. When you're working here on your computer, you'll want to close that curtain too. You don't want any light behind the monitor, which means this is no longer a window. This is a wall. How am I supposed to do Here's the Two corners for the rail system printed on a textured sheet. We need to create a wall that is easy to use, that is fast, that covers all of our light leaks, that's insulated. But the real challenge, the Lottie and Margaret challenge. How do we make this window look like a wall that has modern decor? It's like we've been wanting to give up every day. A lot of mistakes. This kind of broke us. Hey, just in case you noticed and you're wondering why the heck is he working with such a warp, cheap looking plywood? Well, I brought it today from a hardware store and what do you know, we have a strike of five rainy days and I got hit. Warped. Me. Aww. We've done sliding curtains before on a ceiling panel, but this time we are speeding through this plywood panel to get to the curtain. You've seen the condensation channel before and I'm applying it again on this side too. When thinking about what we're gonna do with the inside of this curtain along the wall, our favorite type of art are always these massive panoramas. And every single one in the workshop was taken when we were living on the road. So I need to find a photo that is big enough to have a massive print in the camper van and would also simulate what you would be seeing when you look out the window. This is it. This is it. Sunset. So when you're putting up your curtain, it's like forever sunset. It's beautiful. And it's even better because we were actually parked here. This was the view from the van. And it's the right height. It's the right height to be at the window. This is when we were sleeping in a van with a mattress on the ground, a small gas bomb loose in the trunk. No running water, just a small bucket. This is a memory. This is perfect. Do you remember me last week making this mold for the curved corners for the side panel? Well, I guess I'm gonna use it again this week. This is a veneer. It's a thin layer of wood cut with a really big and precise machine. Just Make something to bend around, put a glue in between, tie it for a few hours, and bang. Curve in the van.
curve, it's a curve, it's gonna really look great. It's like opening a Christmas present. Wow, this is the best one I've made. Okay. I love how I build the confidence on a first panel, on a first side panel. And now, to getting to this stage took me around, pff, I would say, six hours maybe. That is pretty good. I'm fitting the curved plywood to the line on a masking tape on a window and then just fitting and scraping a little bit strips of plywood. It's easy because I glue and staple everything so it holds in place the moment I finish. You can notice this window is a little bit narrower than the one we have on a side door and it's because we're gonna have a couch so backrest needs to go a little bit higher in order to be a comfortable chilling spot. And we are also going a little bit higher because of the kitchen counter. We don't want to have the window lower than the counter. Everything goes faster, I know exactly what I'm doing and what trade-offs I can take, what crimes I can make that won't even make it to the spotlight. But we're only getting to the meat of this video. Curtain. Curtain will be the one. Curtain will make the day. Curtain will make the show. Curtain is gonna be the showmaker. It's good. One problem solving of a blind land under the table and an opportunity we might be able to use one of our high resolution travel panoramas in a small space is just amazing and we need to take advantage of it. Every single time you close the blind, you always enjoy the view like outside of the van. This is a photo we took in Italy. This is high-res vertically shot panorama. Now it's resized on a dimension that fits exactly the cutout of the window. And I left some overhang so I can trim into it. It's gonna be sliding up and down. This is a five millimeter lightweight plastic and it's laminated to protect the photo properly. So the next step would be sorting out the rail system and it needs to be able to move up and down while holding itself into place. Not dropping when driving. Not dropping when driving. And that should be my width with the fabric folded over the edges. Outside looking good to cover the crime and then seal it off forever. Well, that's the theory. I think it's coming along pretty well. Wow, soon enough we can cover with a fabric and change it forever. Before we get to the most exciting phase of this video, I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Wondrium. Wondrium is the premier entertaining and educational video subscription service with the mission to offer the most diverse non-fiction learning experiences to the world. 
Wondrium brings you trusted, respected, and inspiring experts and storytellers who have led over 6,000 hours of video courses, documentaries, and series. Your brain is going to love this place. This week, I watched the series, The Power of Body Language. This course dives into the importance of nonverbal communication and how nonverbal signals are 12 to 13 times more powerful than the accompanying words. If you've ever wondered about anything, Wondrium will be your new favorite place, and they are giving our viewers the great offer of a free trial. You can show your support by subscribing to Wondrium now at wondrium.com slash Lottie and Margaret. Now you ready to see what we got? How am I supposed to do? Here's the situation again. I have rails ready. I made the sandwich them from a plywood and solid wood. Rails that I'm going to poster and fit the aluminum profile so it slides in aluminum nicely. So that's the easy part. We have the railing system so it can only go up or down, nothing else. Then the matter is how to do this conveniently. It needs to be able to move up and down while holding itself into place. Not dropping when driving. The beginning I thought I'm gonna have an actuator lifting it up, but it doesn't make sense to be adding so much weight for such a simple thing. So then I was thinking, okay, I can have a bunch of strings and having a simple motor that would rotate it up and rotate it down. But hey, what if you stop rotating and let it go? It's gonna fall straight down. Thought about counterweight too. That means having a string, having same amount of weight on the other end. And as you lift it up, the weight goes down and always helps you out. But how do you lock it in a position? It's the difficult one. We figured with Margaret that we should have two handles, simple spring pin that you press it, release the pin that goes to aluminum, stays in a position, never drops, never moves. So I can have this sneaky little gap to see what the neighbors are about. Modeling this thing, that's an advanced product design. Sometimes it's fast, not in this case. It's pretty wild, this little detail. Few tests later, making a new version with a stopper and it should be good to go. There is always really amazing learning curve about all of these little prototypes. Just breaking down the mechanisms and trying to combine all of these little demands together. I think it's going to be somewhere here. This is actually gray. This is black. Mm, I think we can do better than that. How about galaxy black? Galaxy black. It looks so sleek. Oh, I have a little slot there for the spring so it doesn't jump out. That is a good little mechanism. Two of these. Then we have two corners for the rail system printed on a textured sheet so they match the fabric a little bit better. Panorama top edge covers, multiple pieces. Sliders fitting in the aluminum rail, spacing out the panorama from the aluminum. And a panorama curved corners. Cover it all up. All of these 3D prints, from these orange ones to this mega pocket, to the blue pockets at the top, all of these 3D print models are included in the Van Build Bundle. Available now at LottieandMargaret.com.
Wow, by drilling these holes in a channel, I made stoppers for different positions. Whoop! As the pin slides in, the curtain is gonna stay in that position. Boop. When it came time to upholster our new panels, we got stuck. We didn't know what to do until we thought the fact that grandma had a sewing machine in her attic. Now I have never sewn before, so I spent most of the day trying to read a manual in another language. There aren't even videos on how to work this thing on the internet because it's from 1986. But I think I figured it out. And now I'm going to try sewing our side panel. This is a lot of pressure. This is the first thing I'll ever have sewn in my life. So if it's really bad, it's because it was the first thing I ever sewed in my life. While Margaret is sewing, I'm going into rail making. My wooden supports allow me to attach to the panel, attach to the chassis of the car and have a sturdy railing system. I'm postering it all around, gives me some tolerances and inside I'm mammoth gluing aluminum C-channel. That's the sliding contact point for the whole panorama. I already drilled the holes for different curtain positions. What if it's awful? Is it going to fit? I don't know. Where are we even? What is what? What is what? Is, what did you even make? <laughs> wow, that actually does look pretty neat. Is it mm -hmm. really? Mm -hmm. You mean it? Yeah. This is the moment. This is the moment we finally have all the pieces of this massive puzzle together. So assembly is the most satisfying phase if everything goes well. If it doesn't, it requires a bit of a pushing back and forth, tweaking, gluing, curving, whatever the job needs. In this phase, everything goes so smooth. We can cover the edges, we can install the 3D printed corners, the fabric looks amazing. We're just so, so hyped. Then the panorama comes into place and it just looks amazing the moment we take a bit of a strips off on both sides and the top, mark the locks, mark the corners and test it out. Those handles don't even obstruct the panorama, don't really distract, so that made us really happy. As soon as we have the curves on, it changes, the whole thing changes perception and it just flows, visually it flows. So that cool. actually is a killer effect. <laughs> okay, let's keep pushing. Okay, okay. Wait. Wow, <laughs> wow. With such a grim outlook this morning. Another lock, okay, I'm in. I'm nice. in. Nice. Okay, we're on. That actually looks like a really sick product. Wow. And we are having our crisis freak out. Wow, <laughs> just two seconds before. This kind of broke, broke us. It's like we've been wanting to give up every day. A lot of mistakes and never ending cycle of unfinished, unfinished <laughs> battle. <laughs> unfinished problem solving, unfinished everything. <clears throat> This is great. This is a great feature. Bottom line, this is where it's locked in a bottom hole. And just a bit of a glue, bit of a screw. Nice and easy stopper. Oh, and you know what? 
I'm gonna actually use the two millimeter rubber stopper bouncer. Hmm. Oh, I let go. Oh, it locks itself. Final phase! All of the hard work. Oh my gosh. I'm Final touches. Alright, let's lift it. Ooh. Ah. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> Bumper catches it, locks in place, just in case we're driving and it's shaking, it's not like bumping on a road. <laughs> That's amazing. And now these positions, you might want to have it a little bit open, halfway open, more like a sneaky stealthy mode. Sneaky sneak. What is happening out there? <laughs> or you can just seal yourself and be completely light blocked anywhere unseen. <laughs> Ahoy! Tell me in a comment if you like. Because I like, she likes. I like. We both like. Like, like, like. You did it. Lottie did. Lottie nailed it. Thank you, Bunny. Yeah. This was, was, uh, this, these are difficult. There's a lot of sophistication on small scale. So modeling this, printing samples, spring mechanism. Whoa! Thank you guys for being patient and taking on this project with us because sometimes it drives us absolutely crazy. But <laughs> then we sit down and we look at it and we're like, how crazy were we actually? It's not as easy as it looks in the videos. We only show you the finished solution. We don't show you the breakdowns. <laughs> if, you have, if you ever get frustrated with your own projects, hey, believe us, that happens here all the time. That's part of it. I'm most proud of Margaret. We were able to bring a sewing machine from my grandma's. She, will, she watched a lot of videos and pulled it pretty quickly f to this detail work. <laughs> For following phases, we have this extra sewing skill in a sleeve and we can pull it anytime. The workshop is a sewing station now. Hopefully our next few projects will give our brains a little bit of a break, be a little bit easier, quick victories. But I know no matter what, we have to keep raising the bar. Commenting, liking, and sharing these videos always help us to do a little bit better. We'll try a little harder. When we have a little bit bigger crowd. <laughs> okay? I hear that. To think through one extra detail for you guys. Because I know you like. An extra thought per viewer. <laughs> <laughs> yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yeah. Another one done. Done. So what's next? Just want to give you guys an update I'm on the land. Cleared all of this space here. Added some new soil, leveled that out. We're still deciding what to do with these metal bins. We're thinking maybe we could paint them and use them for pots somewhere on the land. And now all of that wood that was here is gone. Thank you.